got some really great deals at the Wig Studio One clearance section. So I went a little crazy. I thought I would show you my haul today. So a lot of these wig styles I have reviewed before, but I've enjoyed them so much that I ended up ordering them in a color that I thought I might like that was available on clearance. You can find these at Wig Studio One, either new or on clearance. All of those links are below the video. And I absolutely love this wig style. I am in the mood for pixies. I go through these stages where I go through a stage where I wear short and then maybe more medium and then I go back to pixies. I'm really digging in to that pixie stage right now. And this one is Amara by Renee of Paris. So Amara is in the color Champagne R. It's a short cropped pixie style cut. It has about a two and a half inch bang, a one and a half inch nape. Now it's good coverage for me, but you have to be aware of what, what you like in terms of your taste and preferences and what measurements you need for good coverage. I find the ear tab coverage is spectacular. This is an affordable style as it is, and I got it for right around $100, I think. But it was a wonderful deal. And the one that I've reviewed was in the Bubblegum R, and I really enjoy that color too. Uh, but I wanted it also in a blonde, so this is it in Champagne R, Amara. All right, let's take a look at some more clearance haul wigs. And remember, Amara is by Renee of Paris. It's in the Alexander Couture collection. A typically very affordable, fashionable, easy styles to wear. So the next piece I picked up in my clearance haul is yet another one from that Renee of Paris Alexander Couture collection. And this one is called Charlotte in the color Cinder Toffee. I reviewed Charlotte in Autumn Sunrise, I think. It was more really of a red, a mixed auburn color with some coppers. Now the Cinder Toffee is also very warm. And if you're comparing it to, let's say, creamy toffee, it's gonna to be a little darker compared to creamy toffee. And it's going to be a more of a richer red color, okay? So you're gonna see some of that reddish blonde in there. And then it's highlighted with more of a gold blonde. So it is a warm color, it's also rooted. Um, but I really like the shape of this one. <clears throat> I really loved it because it was easy to wear. This one of those plug and chug wig styles. Uh, the shape of it was really cute and different. This has more of a retro, let's say, uh, Dorothy Hamill, Princess Di kind of a swoop there. And there's very little permatees on this one, but it's super affordable. So if you're into pixies like I am right now, you might want some variety in your wardrobe. And these prices just make it so easy to do that. All right, let's move on to more clearance. So this color on this style has been on back order for a while and I didn't get it in time. And when it came up on clearance, I just had to snap it up. This is Tony of Beverly's Chris in Rooted Platinum. So I love this style so much. And I didn't originally choose Rooted Platinum when I purchased this wig for reviews because I was afraid that it would just be too platinum for me with a stark root. However, it just works with this texture. There's actually some dimension and warmth in there as well. And you guys know I love, love, love this little pixie. And this color is another one that I'll definitely want to order a backup in because I never want to be without it. <laughs> I think I have eight colors in this style now. And this is among my favorite. I think it's really a toss up in terms of my favorite color on this style. Uh, this is really a toss up between this one and the uh, rooted champagne. So I wore this style a lot when we moved. Um, I always had a Chris on hand so that I could slip it on. It looks great every time. It kept me cool in a, in a heavy, sweaty ordeal. <laughs> and I loved it. And I got compliments on it and I just felt like, yeah, this it isn't going anywhere. <clears throat> and it looks great every time. I've always been a fan of this style. This is Noriko's Ivy. And it's shown here in the color Creamy Toffee R. And I kind of think I know why this was returned to clearance. And it doesn't have anything to do with the retailer. It's just those variances that you can see on the manufacturing level. Uh, you can see differences in the style in terms of length and cap size and, and just overall look of the style. So you could get two or three of them, love them, and that fourth one might not look the same, right? We've all experienced this and it is a reality. So what I think was going on here are a couple of things. So this creamy toffee, 
generally is um, a nice uh, combination of some gold blonde, some medium gold blonde, some light gold blonde on, on a medium root. And that's what you see up front and on top. But that's not what you see in the back. In the back, it's very dark. In fact, it's darker in the back and at the nape than it is on the top at the root. It's more of a chocolatey brown. It's too harsh of a contrast that makes it look like a fashion color. So the creamy toffee that we know and love does not display the same on Noriko Ivy as it does on the rest of the Noriko styles. You need to be aware of that because that isn't something the manufacturer puts out on the description. So I think that's the first thing. The second reason why I think this may have been returned is because of the sizing. Noriko, everybody understands that Noriko runs petite average. I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. Noriko always fits me perfectly. I can count on it every time. This cap was very large on me when I got it. So it was large. I had to cinch it in as far as it could go. I could literally fit a, fit a softball in the space that was in that cap above the crown. It was that baggy and that much extra cap. Somebody messed up <laughs> and it was definitely not gonna work for me. So what I did was I took it off and I actually sewed some wefts together at the, uh, at the crown. From the inside, I just sewed them together. I had to gather up maybe 10 wefts, 10 rows of wefts, pull them together and sew them to create a knot on the inside. So I think it, I think it, it is not visible from the outside. It did a really nice job cinching that in and helping it fit me better. So just let me be clear that the quality of this is good. So just let me be clear that there's nothing wrong with this. This is not a defect. The quality of the fiber is excellent. The quality of the cap is excellent. We're just seeing that variance in the cap uh, size, which isn't something that would be obvious or apparent to a retailer, but you can expect some of these things to happen once in a while. These are mass produced wigs, not defending the wig companies. I really feel like they should be more consistent, but until they are, um, maybe having the skills and the mindset that to get a deal, we might have to take a little bit of a risk. So that rounds out my clearance haul, guys. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon right here at Tess's Wig Closet.